When the report of an unidentified body with gunshot wounds hit the news, the Guzman family never thought it would be one of their own. The body was found partially submerged in the sea in an area behind the port of Belize. It wasn't until the police released a photo of the tattoo that Carmita Leslie realized the victim was her cousin, 25-year-old Jose Guzman. And I just put on the Facebook and I see the thing where say um they want somebody to identify John Doe, but I never did read the rest of the thing and I just um I just see the tattoo and when I see the tattoo I ball out to my my halama, this is Joey, and because I know the tattoo because I always tease her about that tattoo. I always ask her, Joey, why you make me put that hand in your hand? I always ask her that. So when I see the tattoo, I, you know, I tell my mom, I say, this is Joey, this is Joey. And then we notice we don't see her. Guzman went to eat at his cousin's restaurant on the East Colette Canal every day. But Leslie realized they hadn't seen him since Monday. And that was strange for Guzman, whose mental illness forced him to wander the streets of the downtown area. Joey was just mental. He was a mentally challenged person. Joey walked around Belize. Everybody knows Joey as the guardian angel because he tell everybody he have a cape. Sometimes he have any cape. He come and he say he not the guardian angel and he walk all around Belize but he was loved. He had a family, you know, he have a family and we love her. Due to the mental illness where he have, you know, like nobody couldn't keep her off of the street because he have a mother Ladyville, he have my auntie that um, rolling quick where part he would have go. When he get injection, he would have got a rolling quick because I think the injection like maybe make it get her back seeing and make it realize that he dip on the street. So he would have go. When that injection wear out, it come back again. But this self-proclaimed guardian angel had no one to save him when his attacker pulled the trigger. And now Leslie wants to know, who would target a peaceful, mentally ill young man? I still can't see why anybody would have killed him because he not do nobody nothing and we gun, I mean gunshot. That's that the last thing I would have expect. I would have more said natural cars or something, but no one gunshot. You know, it just, it just hurt because I just think about the last moments, you know, if they made a chase or had on a run or, but Joey, Joey have a family and they love her very much. We love him very, very much. He was not a violent person. Nobody have no video, no nothing that Joey they fight or Joey they broke up, nothing, no way. He was not violent. He was always smiling, always have some joke to give us. And now Leslie will miss the stories Guzman made up in his muddled mind but is pleading with the public to come forward if they have any information about what might have happened to her cousin. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.